Hi, I'm Lucy, one of the team at PTFS Europe. So for what's on our mind this week, I'm going to look at how you can add items to lists directly from COA reports. So I've got a report saved here already that I've copied and pasted from the reports library on the COA wiki. Uh, and it's a new accessions list. So it's just picking up anything that's been added to the catalogue within a particular time frame. So I've set it for a period of 12 months, just because I don't have many new newly accessioned items um, on this test system that I'm using. Um, but you could um, create a report that's just pulling back records from the previous 30 days or two months. And it's because it's a report, it's really flexible. So you could use this method for any number of lists that you wanted to create. So you, know, you could limit it down by... Um, particular libraries, particular item type, shelving locations, um, that kind of thing. So this is my report here. As I say, I'm picking up anything that's been added to the catalog in the previous 12 months. The other thing that needs to be added to the report in order to um, add the results to a list is to add in this Biblio Biblio number within the select clause. So it's it's the presence of this field or this column within the report's results that allows you to transfer the item straight into a list. Uh, so if you are copying and pasting from the reports library, just remember that you need to add in just this um, field name. Okay, so if I run that report, should have some results. You'll see that it's got that column there for the Biblio number. And if I click on the batch operations, we should see we've got this option to add to list. So you can just click on that. Opens up a pop-up window, shows me what records are going to be added to my list. And then I have the option of either adding those to an existing list here, got um, public lists already set up here, or I can create a new one. So I'm just going to create a new list here, new acquisitions 2022. I only have the option to keep this list as private at this point. Um, I'm guessing the idea is that you would then um, you create your list here, but then you then go in and make sure that it's correct, perhaps add any other items to it um, before making it public on the OPAC. And um, so I'll leave that just as private and save list. And if I now go across into the lists module, we'll see that that new acquisitions um, 2022 is added there, showing us private. So I'm happy with it. Um, I want to make that public, so I can just go in, edit it, make it public. And that's now added to my public lists here. So if I go across to the OPAC just to show you what it will look like in there, I go into my lists and then view all. And hopefully see down here, new acquisitions 2022. I'll click on that. That will show me my new list. So as you can see, it's a really quick way um, of creating lists from scratch. Um, so I hope that's going to be useful to you. And thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.